hi guys and welcome back to my channel in this video I'm going to show you how to create this style of effect I've made it very simple and easy to follow or at least I've tried and also I've made a separate tutorial where I show you how to create a distressed style effect on text so make sure you give that a watch after you watch this video and without further ado let's get into it first thing you want to do as always is opening a new canvas if you want to use this as cover art make sure it's 2000 by 2000 or 3000 by 3000 now go on google and search for newspaper page it can be any page you want it doesn't have to be the one i'm using right now but make sure it has a big image like maybe this newspaper has it or this one right here i ended up choosing this one so now with the newspaper make sure it fits correctly in your canvas as so now insert the image that you want to apply the newspaper effect now make sure the image that you've chosen overlays perfectly over the original picture like I'm doing here now go on image and go down to adjustments and here go to saturation once open turn the saturation all the way down now on your keyboard you want to press Ctrl and J and that will make a copy of the picture. Go to filter and go down to blur and here you want to go on radial filter. Make sure the amount is about 20. Here you want to place the original picture over the picture that has blur and now you want to press on the eraser tool and choose a brush that has a fade effect like this one right here and now just erase everything 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 except the face of the person that you're using as you can see it makes this very cool effect and now select both layers and merge them together press on filter and go down to noise Here you can add any amount that you want, just make sure it doesn't look too excessive. Maybe something less than 15, I maybe added a bit too much, but it's all right. Now go down to filter again, and this time press on filter gallery. Here you wanna choose the artistic folder and go to film grain. Now what you're going to do here is mess around with the options and make it look as good as possible with the picture that you've chosen. Now you want to go back to filter gallery, but this time we want to choose the texture folder and now choose the texturizer. Here you want to use the canvas texture and again mess around with the settings and make it look as good as possible
yeah, as, as you can see, it makes this really nice vintage paper effect over your artwork. You can use this on absolutely anything and it's going to look great. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and make sure to watch the other video where I show you how to do a distress style effect on your text. Thank you so much for watching this video and we've reached the end of the tutorial. So thank you so much for sticking in and I'll see you next time.